Welcome to our lesson on the slope of a line. A quick review, the slope equation is the rise divided by the run, the rise over the run. And in math terms, we write that like this, the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Essentially, what that's doing is it's telling the difference between the y values and the difference between the x values, or the vertical change or for the horizontal change. In other words, the rise over the run. So we are going to look at how to find the slope using this equation that we have here. So if we have an, a linear equation in standard form, ax plus 3y equals c, what we want to do is to find the slope using just that equation. To do that, we're going to need our slope equation, and we're also going to need to do a couple of things. The first step that I would do is to find two points. Okay, what is the easiest points to find? Well, for me, the easiest points to find would be the x and y intercepts, because I know that the y intercept, x is equal to zero, and the x intercept, y is equal to zero. So if I put in those zeros, I'm going to make it really easy to find, the, find two points on this line. That's all we really need, is just two points, any two points on the line. These ones are just the easiest ones to find. So I'll start out using this point 0 and try and find out the y value when x is equal to 0. I do that by plugging 0 into this original equation. Negative 4 times 0 is 0. So it just removes itself. It eliminates it. I'll end up with 3y is equal to 12. And I can divide both sides by 3 to find that y is equal to 4. I can plug that information up in here. And I know that my point is 0, 4. For my next point, I'm going to substitute the value of 0 in for y into the equation there so that I can actually solve for my x value. So 3 times 0 is 0. So that removes itself from the equation. Negative 4 times x is equal to 12. I'll divide both sides by negative 4. 12 divided by negative 4 will give me a negative 3 value for x. And again, I can plug that information right in there, the point negative 3, 0. So that's what I would do. That would be the first step for me in finding the slope from an equation in standard form. First off, I would find two points. And now the next step is that I'm going to actually take these two points and plug them into my slope equation. So my y2 is 0 minus y1, 4, and my x2, negative 3, minus x1, which is 0. You'll see that over here. I just plug the information directly into the, the slope equation, and I solve, and that will give me the value of the slope. In this case, 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Negative 3 minus 0 gives me negative 3. And when you have a negative, divided by a negative, it will give you a positive result. So my final slope is actually a positive 4 over 3. A rise of 4 for every 3, it runs. OK, I change in vertical. It will go up 4, and it will move to the right 3. That's what this is telling me, if I were to actually graph that line. Let's look at another one, because this type of question, practicing is a good thing. All right. So. I'm asked to find the slope of an equation when I'm given the equation in standard form. The first step is to find two points. My y-intercept and my x-intercept are the easiest points to find. So this one, I'll do both of them at the same time. First off, I'll substitute 0 into the equation 2x plus 5y equals 10 when x is equal to 0 there. And then over here, I'll substitute my 0 in for y. 2x plus 5y is equal to 10. All right, I'm just doing both of them at the same time. 5 times 0 removes itself. 2 times 0 gets rid of itself. And so I have 5y is equal to 10. And 2x is equal to 10. And I'll solve for x and y. On this side, I divide by 5. Both terms here divided by 5 will give me a y is equal to 2. And that gives me the point 0, 2. And then over here, I have 2x is equal to 10. When I'm solving for x, I'll find that x is equal to 5. 
and that gives me the point five zero. So I can substitute into this table that information, but more importantly, I can take these two points, plug them into the slope equation over here, and solve to figure out what my slope is. All right, so I have zero, which is my y2, minus y1, which was my value, my y value for the first point, or two, and then x2, or my x value for the second point, minus x1, which is my x value for the first point. See, so I plug that all into here. Zero minus two is negative two. Five minus zero is a positive five. So I'll end up with the fraction of negative two over five as my final slope for this equation. All right. Now, there's a pattern you may have noticed. In question number one, our question said negative 4x plus 3y is equal to 12. And the slope, which is often represented by m, is equal to 4 over 3. See these numbers here, 4 and 3? See those numbers there, 4 and 3? All right, let's look for a pattern here. Our slope in our second one is negative 2 over 5. There's a 2 there, and there's a 5 there. Hmm. Only this one's a negative, and this one turned from negative to positive. So we see from this pattern that the slope is negative a over b. That's not negative a over b. It's negative a over b, the whole thing. Okay, we can put parentheses around there if we wanted to. Um, but negative a over b in the standard form of equation. So this 4 over 3, and we had actually negative 4 over 3, and we took the opposite of that, or the negative value of that, negative times that, will give us a positive 4 over 3. In this one, a over b is 2 over 5, and we take the negative value of that, and we'll get a negative 2 over 5. So this is a pattern that we saw in the two questions that we did. So as you're working through those problems, try and see if this is a standard pattern. If this is a pattern that is standard across the board for all the questions that you do, then maybe it's something that's true for all cases. So go ahead and, and while you're working through, I suggest you work through the problems the way that I showed you. Um, find two points, put them into the slope, equation and solve for the slope, and then see if this pattern holds for the rest of the questions that you'll be doing today. Have fun with slope, <laughs> have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon, I'm sure.